Hello guys, my name is Rakel and welcome to another episode on the Tech Savior. So today I'm going to explain you what is Project Dribble and how you can install the Project Dribble on the Redmi Note 3. So let us start by explaining what is Project Dribble. So it is a project which has been started by the Google and from the Android 8.0, the Android went into a complete change on its framework and because of that currently we have the Dribble support. So what is Dribble support? I like to consider the Dribble support in this way. That means after getting the Dribble support for your phone, you will be able to install some universal ROMs. It is known as the GSI images. That means you can install any ROMs which has trouble support but it may not be meant for your devices. So if you have trouble support on your phone then you can install the ROMs which are not specified for your devices. So that's all about the project trouble and when the project trouble rolls out in a complete form uh, most phones support single ROM. That means a single ROM will be able to install on all the devices which has the trouble support. There is no need it has to be ported for all the devices. It has to be just it will be just like a universal chip. It could be flashed on any phones which has the trouble support. So today I am going to explain you how you can get uh, the project trouble on the Redmi on the Note 3. So first um, I have given a lot of uh, links on the description box. Just go into those links and download all the image files and the zip files that I have been given. So if you don't know the project trouble is not officially supported by Google on the Redmi Note 3 but an developer has ported a ROM which supports the trouble for our phone so we get an unofficial trouble support for the redmi note 3 so uh, these steps that i'm going to explain over here will be same for all the devices which supports the trouble support which has the trouble support unofficially and one thing that you have to make sure whenever you are flashing and uh, trouble roam into the redmi note 3 after uh, always make sure that you flash the a partition based ROM. Do not flash AB partition ROM on the Redmi Note 3. If you flash the AB partition ROM, you might end up on the boot loop. So let us start and just first go into wipe, advanced wipe, and wipe down uh, all the like the cache, Dalvi cache system, data cache, etc. of your previous ROM. Just swipe to wipe them. And now we have to unofficially we are installing the project trouble into the Redmi Note 3. So uh, over here I have the RR ROM which is based on the project trouble. So if you install this chip on your phone then the Redmi Note 3 will unofficially support the project trouble. So swipe to confirm flash that it be flash up. And as you can see here it has been said that the build type is the trouble supported. So always make sure that it is a trouble ROM. And there is one more way that we can make sure that it is project trouble based ROM. So as you can see here it is the patching vendor image file. So if it is a flashing a vendor image it is a project trouble based ROM or it is a ROM which is gonna give your phone the trouble support currently so after flashing this ROM uh, the Redmi Note 3 is currently having the project trouble supported and there's no need that you have to boot into that ROM just go into advanced wipe and just wipe down the system only do not wipe the cache and all other things then go back go into mount and mount vendor and persist from now onwards you have to make sure that uh, you have to do all this 
and uh, something that i forgot to to say is that uh, on the normal twrp you can't uh, actually mount the vendor image uh, you need a special twrp like this in order to flash the uh, flash or mount the vendor image i have linked down this uh, twrp on the description box uh, it is simple to install uh, twrp this twrp just boot into your normal twrp and click on the i will just show you this is going to install and click on the install image and then select the image that i have been given in the uh, description box and then you have to just reboot into the uh, rom back okay so uh, always make sure that all of these are mounted in and you have to always make sure that the vendor and the persist are mounted now uh, we have the official unofficial project trouble support on the redmi note 3 and now i'm going to flash and trouble roam a trouble supported roam into this phone so you have to go into install and uh, go into the place where you have uh, extracted those zip so i have given an gsi image file in a zip file format on the description just go into that and unzip it and then you will get something like this bootlegger's rom uh so open that folder and as you can see it is just showing nothing over here just click on the install image now so now it is uh, showing us the bootlegger's rom image file and you have to click on that image and click it to flash as a system image file and swipe to confirm flash it will take some time and yeah it has completed the uh image flash now you have to just click on the reboot system it might show up as no os is installed just don't worry it is installed it is a, some sort of bug which is happening just swipe to reboot and now yeah it is booting into the bootlegger stroke so this uh the it is showing up as uh There is an internal problem with your device. Contact your manufacturer for details. It is normal because these rooms are not meant to install on our phone, but still, it's okay. Just give an okay. Uh, it might show up some errors, but don't worry. So that's it. Uh, currently, we have booted into the bootlegger bootleggers room, which is based on the project trouble. If you go into down on the system, it says the. About phone PPH trouble vanilla. So and our model also it is saying as trouble and it is based on the Android 8.1. So I have linked up a lot of GSI image files down below. You can go into those links and download any sort of GSI image files that you need to install. And uh, currently. Uh, the redmi note 3 is not supporting the android p based uh roms and thank you guys for watching